Is this camera on? Is it recording? Good morning. <laughs> I've been struggling with this camera. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Kiki, but I'm sure you guys know that by now. Anyways, my last vlog, I think I literally am going to have to scrap it because I filmed the entire thing in slow motion. How annoying. Uh, 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 uh. We're back with another vlog. Yes, yes. Okay, I'm just gonna rinse my face and oh, I still feel ill you guys okay on Sunday no Saturday I cooked myself a little dinner nothing too serious it was brown rice pasta some sauce and some chicken sausage with some parmesan cheese why did I immediately get violently ill like I kid you not I was like bent over like walking because my stomach was in knots I thought I was dying and I thought I was gonna have to call 911. I was like, what happened here? I always eat this. So I wound up getting so sick that I threw it up. And then I felt a little bit better, but like my stomach is still a little bit jacked up. So yesterday was Sunday. I meant to film this vlog yesterday, but I just did not feel good. My energy was like this low. I was like, I can't do anything. The only thing, well, I guess this is a huge thing. Oh, I'm missing a press on. I'm not putting it back on because I might have a modeling job this week and I might have to take all of these off anyway. But anyways, getting sidetracked. The Parmesan cheese that I put on the pasta expired six months ago. How disgusting. I didn't realize. And I'm usually so good with checking expiration dates. Like I really thought that that Parmesan cheese was new, but no, it expired last August. So I'm assuming that's what caused it, I think. Or it could have been the meat because I have a habit of thawing meat and then changing my mind. So I put it in the fridge and then I'll cook it like the next day. So I'm like, did I maybe like thaw it? I don't know. All I know is I was ill yesterday. How annoying. I'm embarrassed, honestly. Six month old cheese. All I know is I felt a mess yesterday. And even this morning, I feel much better, but I still definitely feel low energy. So I don't know if I'm gonna make it to the gym today. We'll see, I might have to adjust. Actually, I don't know. This is my issue. So I obviously don't wanna to go to the gym when I am not feeling 100%, but I was really excited to start a new split this week because it's March. Really excited to do a new split because I've been doing the same workouts for two months. That's been my goal this year. I wanted to do the, I wanted to stop bouncing around my workouts. Because I know I travel a lot, so I would do workouts for two weeks. Then I come back, I try to get back into it, but I'm not into it. And now I'm all off track. I said I'm not doing that this year because it just completely throws me off. So I did really good. January and February, I followed the same exact lifting schedule and did great. Definitely built some strength and developed some muscle. That's the thing. People say that they get bored with their workouts. You're supposed to be bored. If you want to see some type of growth or change, like you're supposed to be bored. You don't have to do the crazy workouts that you see on Instagram and be doing something different every day. Do the same thing every day for at least like six to eight weeks and then move on to something new. But anyways, I'm ranting. I'm ready to move on. I was ready to start a new split this week, but I've made myself ill by eating old cheese. Ah. Anyways, I've been standing here. I need to wash my face. Bring me back to life. Bring me back to life. Mm, mm, mm. Stop. I'm ill. Y'all, please. All right, I am ready to go. But okay, let's make our way down the steps. So today, I'm just gonna reset my life because where is Buffers? Oh, in her usual spot. Today, I feel so weak but I cannot have another day just laying around. I did go on a little walk yesterday though. I forced myself because I'm really trying to make myself not rot in bed. Even though I was feeling like a little bit under the weather, I could get up and walk. So I, I walked for like an hour yesterday with buff. So I might just do that today. I don't think lifting weights is in my power today, but what is in my power, look at my kitchen. I'm embarrassed. I shouldn't even be showing you guys this because how embarrassing is that? 
Uh, I've just been <sighs> traveling. And then I don't even remember what I did last week, but my house is out of control. So I'm about to clean up and reset and get this together. Because why are these dishes climbing out of the sink? All right, let's do some cleaning. Don't talk about me. Like literally, how embarrassing. Y'all know I keep it 100 over here. I've never been one of those creators that's like, everything is gonna be perfect and in its place. And I, my house rarely looks like that. Like I'm always in shambles. done my millions of dishes put those through the dishwasher i'm gonna make breakfast because it's now 11 30. i'm actually feeling better now i think now that i've gotten i woke up and i got the juices flowing like i feel good so we might be able to slide to the gym i don't know i don't know but we'll see if not i'll just take a rest day because i try to do two rest days a week so maybe i'll just do that but i've been seeing this recipe on tiktok called scrambled oats i have a love-hate relationship with oats I always see people do the, what are they called? I don't know, I guess they're just like oat, oatmeal recipes. And I've just always hated oatmeal, but I see people make them and I'm like, wait, that looks good. I might like that. It winds up being disgusting. But the scrambled oats look good. Cause I think it's the texture of the oatmeal. It's just like, I don't, but I'm gonna give it a try. I thought that I could let you know. I'm damaged. Are there any oats in here? Hello? Um, here's my dilemma. I have this container of oats that were in my, my pantry. I've never used these. And I don't know how old these are. Given my recent situation of eating expired food, I'm a little bit scared of these. I feel like they have to be expired. I think I set this up like two years ago. Uh. So yeah, I think these oats might be like two years old. <laughs> so maybe we're not gonna do scrambled oats or maybe i'll pop over i do have a um grocery store right across the street so i might go do a little walk they should have oats right mm, actually i don't know because it's kind of like a small grocery store i have my heart pretty set on this so i'm gonna go over there and see if they have it if not it is what it is i'm in a good mood because Yesterday and today was in the 60s. Yesterday it was pushing 70 degrees. How amazing. And today it's 65. So I can go outside and frolic with no coat. Love that for me. Okay, but let me go see if they have oats. If not, we'll just have to make something else. Uh, and I cash my check. She got a dunk. The way my iPhone just shuffles any old song, crazy. Okay, 
good news they did have the rolled oats well i'm sorry steel cut oats actually i don't even know which one i'm supposed to get all right let's get this open so basically you just take rolled oats or i don't know whatever kind of oats a banana and an egg mix that all together put it in a frying pan and scramble it and apparently it's supposed to be good that's what they say i don't know but we will see let's put this stuff together um this is not correct i've never seen oats that look like this whole grain up they look like little popcorn kernels i've never seen that before did i get the wrong kind maybe i did need rolled oats oh my gosh stop let's look at the tutorials you know what we're gonna try it anyway okay i have a perfectly almost about to go bad banana here let's do a full banana you know what no let's do a half a banana two thirds so what's the difference between rolled oats and steel cut oats according to an alexa answers contributor the primary difference between steel cut and rolled oats is how they are processed steel cut oats are made by cutting the oats into smaller pieces using the steel blade rolled oats are steamed and then rolled flat this means that they absorb liquid more quickly than steel cut oats okay update i'm still loving my pans they're getting a little wear and tear on them but i think there's a special way you're supposed to clean them i haven't done that yet as far as getting all this off but i'm still loving them if all goes well i'll be having scrambled oats a boiled egg and whatever meat i have i don't know what, what meat i have but all right i'm gonna wash this out you know what i wanted to be so aesthetic when i got the house i was like you know what i want i like those houses that like have everything in the glass bottles and blah blah but like the one downside is this like you don't know if something's expired so i think i might just keep them in this little container um i don't know if this is looking like the tutorial oh let's add some cinnamon if i have it, it smells amazing mm. that's my thing with oats like it always smells so good it always looks so good but i'm always disappointed in the end give it a little taste when it was in the pot tasted good we'll see oh god hmm mm. okay it does actually taste good but the texture of the oats like you can tell that they're not i guess they needed to be boiled it basically didn't absorb any of the water or like the egg so i will try this again but it's going to have to be with the rolled oats not the steel cut definitely trying that again but with different oats tomorrow and then i have some boiled eggs some turkey bacon and a kiwi i just said that i was feeling better and i might go to the gym i changed my mind as i was cooking i was feeling like not great so today is definitely gonna be a rest day and i'll just work on my things at home and go on a walk
this was this is all from ikea the bookshelf was the billy bookshelf i probably built this in a vlog like a year ago so this is the billy bookshelf and then you have an option to buy doors i got doors because i just have so much stuff and i just don't want to see the clutter so yeah that's why i got these they're really cheap to add on to i think i'm just gonna put my books here but we'll see It made me so happy that you guys enjoyed my little book rant a couple vlogs ago because so many times I filmed like a book review. Well, not one book review, but I'll like do a monthly review of like five books and then I wound up talking for 15 minutes and I was like, no one wants to hear me talk about books. So I'm happy that a lot of you like that. So I will start talking about my books. Before I let go, I told you how this was my favorite book last year and i just got a notification i pre-ordered the the sequel to this well i don't think it's a sequel it's kind of like a spin-off with one of the friends i'm forgetting her name it's like sun what was her name Ugh. i don't remember but one of her friends it's a spin-off book i just got a notification from barnes and noble that it's on the way do you guys want to see what's on my tbr yes okay it's like 30 bucks it's a little out of control so i had a goal this year i read a lot of um fiction last year and i had a goal this year to read like one non-fiction book a month so i have a couple of those this one is called the body keeps score heard great things about like that and Amer oh, an american marriage long shot by kennedy ryan jacko all about love bell hooks i feel like i started to read this so many times but i just never got to it when no one is watching the perfect marriage sometimes i lie that's not it i babble i kid you not i think i bought this like two years ago i need to get myself together lessons in chemistry this was the barnes and noble book of the year in 2022 the Heaven and Earth Grocery Store. This was the book of the year for Barnes and Noble last year. Curves for Days. I don't know anything about this book. I just thought it sounded funny at Barnes and Noble, so I picked it up. The Housemaid's Secret. This is the sequel to The Housemaid, which I love, so I can't wait to get back into this. You should have told me. Randomly picked this up at Target. Pet. I think this is a YA book. I think this is called The Kingmaker Series by Kendi Ryan. This was gifted by one of my subscribers at Lyft Miami. I was so ecstatic because I put myself on a book buying ban because as you can see, I have like 30 books that need to be read. So I was like, don't buy any more books. But I saw these in Target and I heard they were so good, but I left them on the shelf. And then she showed up to the event with these. I was ecstatic. Okay, it's really not that bad. I have Black Girls Must Die Exhausted. It's not all down here from here. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not all downhill from here by Terry McMillan. I've actually never read any Terry McMillan. You made a fool of death with your beauty. Night crawling. Lastly, another Terry McMillan. I almost forgot about you. Okay, that's not that bad. I feel like I could bang this out. One, two, three. Twenty twenty-three is not bad. I can bang that out. This is really coming together cute. Okay. Look at me getting my office together. Okay, I lied. There's more. Last couple books. Rich AF. Um, this I just picked up because my modeling agency has a book club and they just started. So this is the first book that we're reading. It's a book just about finance. I could always sharpen up all my finances. Okay. So we actually meet today, so I need to read that. The Locked Door, this is my next read. I just finished reading Atomic Habits, which was amazing. I need to discuss this with you guys in detail. This was just like, I don't know. If you need something like, this might, this may or may not be beneficial to everyone, but I feel like, especially in the fitness space, there is so much in here that I feel like this book just got me. Because there are so many things that I struggle with as far as like habits and planning and it's just so much. And this book just got me. Like, you see all these tabs? Where this was good. I just read Atomic Habits, but I want something that's like really fast paced and it's going to like grip me because I haven't read a grippable book in a couple of 
weeks or months, I feel like. So I know Big Frida is not gonna let me down. So this is next. And then this is another nonfiction book that I picked up called The Energy Paradox. I'm curious about this because sometimes my energy is so low and I just feel like that's not normal. I think this wall is going to be, like I'm probably gonna get a little rack and then I'll do my little like try-ons in here, like my little Gymshark holes in here. I think that would be cute. So I think that'll go over here. I'm not trying to have it be too cluttered or anything. And then I just have to move everything over like my computer and all that stuff. But I'm not gonna do that yet because I'm in the middle of editing some videos. But yeah, I already feel so much like mental clarity. I'm excited. All right, I'm going to have lunch and then go on a WALK. I don't think I have much for lunch. Oops. I have this elote chopped salad from Trader Joe's. Vegetable blend with cornbread crouton crumbles. Some type of cheese I can't pronounce. Oh, okay, this expired a month ago. Okay. My like, what? This one's expired as well. What's this? Like, why? I'm about to just eat this. Because what's in here that expired? A bunch of vegetables and some dressing. I don't know. Should I chance it, y'all? This one expired a long time ago, so I'm not going to do this one. But this one, like, just expired. Gosh. Uh, <laughs> we're risking it. <laughs> we're risking it. I'm going to have the one that literally just expired because there's no, like, dairy in here. This is literally just vegetables, and it still looks pretty solid. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, I need, this is what I'm talking about. I need to get myself together. I'm wasting money and food because I don't know what I have. Okay, but I'm gonna try to do that and I'm gonna toss some of these breaded chicken thingies into the air fryer. I've never had these before. So hopefully they taste good. That smells really healthy. But I just got confirmation that I did book a modeling job this week, which is great. However, they want me to wear my Afro. I just got this sewing installed, not even, it'll be two weeks so like dang i was hoping that this could last at least a month but i will be honest um it was not working out with the gym like at all anytime i like really broke up broke a sweat like these front pieces would flare up and if i didn't care about heat damage then i probably wouldn't care but i do care about heat damage especially because sometimes i have to wear my hair curly so i can't be pressing it every day and then I'm like taking it easy on my workouts because I don't want to sweat. And that's just not a way to live. So yeah, sad. I can reuse this hair because this hasn't even been in for two weeks. And I heard this is really good hair that you can reuse. And my stylist didn't cut it. So I'm going to try to be careful. I'm going to try to be really careful and cut it out so I can reuse it at a later date. But that's just like one of the downsides. Cause like I don't get booked all the time. So that's why I started wearing random hairstyles, but I don't know. I mean, it would be incredible to start getting booked regularly, but I definitely want to move away from my natural hair. Not because I don't love it. I love it. I just, if I'm being honest, I want a break from maintaining it and spending three, four hours once a week trying to get it to look great and then having to maintain it during, like during the workouts. Like I just wanted a break. Looks really good. Mmm. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. I wonder who it's from. Ah, not this already being open. <gasps> who opened my package? Cut it out. This is like sliced open. Who was peeking in my stuff? From Hydro Drug. I wonder who it's from. Oh, uh, I have always been a sucker for cups. I don't know what's wrong with me. Cups and mugs, I'm just obsessed. It looks like, what's going on? It's like a little, what do they call it? What's the little informational card? Oh, here it is. It's called Color Block. Oh, it comes with a keychain and a boot. Oh, it doesn't come with it. It's sold separately. 
but I think the one I want is called Orchid. Yes, it's pink and green. I might have to order. I might have to snatch that up. Probably use this. I've been meaning to buy like a big keychain for my car keys because I always lose them. What is this for? Is it to like protect it? Ugh. Adorable. So cute. Thank you, Hydro Jug. About to take the buffster on a little walk and get my steps in for the day. I'm feeling a lot better, but it just keeps going like this. So I'm feeling good, but I'm gonna go, we're gonna shoot for an hour. We'll see where that gets us. That took energy out of me. We did, I think like 2.3 miles. Did we walk 2.3 miles? That sounds kind of slow. So it's 2.3 miles in an hour. Me and Buffy be moving slow. I'm not even gonna blame it on Buffy. I'm also a slow walker. So, just having a little chocolate chip granola bar from Trader Joe's. I don't know, I forgot to take anything out for dinner. What is wrong with me? So I don't know what I'm having for dinner. Okay, so we did 2.61 miles. Not bad. 24 minute pace. <laughs> Pretty slow, but it's all right. Alrighty. I got my trusty dusty iPad here. I'm feeling the office vibes, yeah? It's cute, it's getting cute. Um, I'm about to do my monthly planner. I use an app called GoodNotes and then I just purchase a, what is this called? Just like a planner. This is a 2024 planner. I think the brand I use is called Luxbook. But I usually just like set it up every month. Like this is my February one. Actually, that looks kind of lazy. But I don't know, I just go in and I like fill in certain things. Can y'all even see that? I don't know. I fill in certain things here, make it cute. I'll put in any like travel dates that I have or any plans and it helps plan out my month. So I'm gonna do this really quick. You guys can tag along. I'm gonna screen record and then put it on the screen so you guys can like see what I'm doing.
finished all of my planning and writing my workouts for the month. I have to join the book club now. I already told you guys, this is the book we're reading. I listened to the audiobook for the first like two chapters. We'll see. I feel like we haven't actually gotten into anything yet. It's just a very long intro about the rich stay rich and the poor stay poor due to lack of resources and information. So hopefully I'll start learning something. Um, yes, my name is Kiki. I'm from New Jersey. I joined because I started reading. I used to read a lot as a kid. And then as I got older, I just kind of stopped reading when I went to school and everything. But I always loved it. And then I got back into it last year. So I read a ton of books now because I picked it up again because I felt very addicted to social media. And that's what I did in my spare time. I was like doom scrolling and it was really unhealthy for me. So I started reading again last year. So that's why I signed up. I love books and I love talking about books. I'm back. Y'all see this little mood here? So I moved the color changing lamp into the office. If y'all remember a few vlogs ago, I got this at Ikea. It's like my favorite little toy. Look how the colors can just change. Like that's a vibe. Oh, you're kidding. That's a vibe. But book club was cute. I didn't say anything. If you guys don't know, I am a raging introvert. How I got into social media, we shall never know. Well, actually no, because I started literally just posting videos you don't have to like talk when you post videos on Instagram. And now here we are, but I'm a raging introvert. So I, I didn't really participate, but I'm going to get better. I'm going to get better. They asked why we joined the book club. And I just talked about how like last year I just felt so, Ooh, I feel like this is not looking flattering this color on my skin. <laughs> um, but anyway, I was like, horribly addicted to social media and just like doom scrolling for hours at a time and I've realized I was like this is not healthy like I don't like it I'm gonna break out of this I shouldn't be scrolling TikTok and Instagram for hours on end it's just it's not good for me so I was like what can I do so that's when I started picking up books and I wound up reading like 20 something books last year which was great and I fell in love with reading again because I used to be a huge reader as a kid. So I told that story as to why I started reading. So hopefully book club goes well. Like I make most of my money doing um, social media, but a lot of the other girls make all of their money modeling. And I haven't gotten to that point yet where I'm like, you know, getting booked consistently, but it is very slow right now for the modeling world. So everyone just got like really comfortable just like talking about money and like in this industry, social media or modeling, you just never know where your next check is coming from. So I totally understand why people wouldn't want to be self-employed because you never know. I mean, I feel like God never takes his hand off of me. So anytime I'm like, where's my next check? Like something always comes through and it's always like such a blessing, but it's a gamble, especially after being in like a really comfortable corporate environment for so many years. It's just different so but when everything is good everything's good but when, every, when everything slows down things slow down so but i do have some aggressive saving goals this year i really want to like pay off my car i'm like in the final stretch and it's definitely doable for me if i manage my money closely i don't know it's always like a toss-up because it's like i always want to be super financially responsible and pay off my debts and do this and, and do that but at the same time i like i want to go on vacation you know I made some protein hot chocolate. This is just steamed almond milk with one scoop of protein. That's good. And I put a little dash of stevia. Like y'all, I'm getting serious. Like I am really trying to stick to my protein goals because I'm at a point where I am like, okay, I feel really strong. I'm feeling great mentally. Like it's been a rocky few years as far as like what exactly my goals are, finding my way back into the gym. Like I absolutely fell out of love with working out and like I'm feeling like I'm back in that space where I'm actually like looking forward to working out, actually like having a solid routine, getting some results um, as opposed to just working out to work out, which there's absolutely nothing wrong with that because y'all know I say any type of movement is great movement. You don't always have to have aesthetic goals or, you know, specific goals. 
sometimes just working out to maintain what you got and to maintain your current health as opposed to going backwards that's a win i wanted to talk about this book but i feel like i'm running out of time i'm probably going to reference things from this book in the next few vlogs because there's so many takeaways from this book but that was one of the takeaways as well there's just so many thoughts i have up here that that book put into writing and that was one of the things it was about so many people asked me they're like oh i i had a bad you know i had a bad day of eating or i fell off of working out for a week what do i do and they put it into great words here basically saying don't compound the issue like if you feel like you fell off track fine acknowledge it get back on track like there's no need to dwell there's no need to continue to compound the issue and just be like well i fell off so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna quit i'm just going to not go to the gym so even just going to the gym and doing something doesn't matter what it is it can be 10 minutes of doing something that 10 minutes is better than doing absolutely nothing and they talked about like getting one percent better each day people want overnight results they want overnight success they want to chip away at a goal and feel immediately gratified like oh i've been working on this for a couple weeks or a month or two months and my life has turned around and it rarely happens like that they use this analogy where it's like when you're working on yourself you chip away it's like chipping away at a boulder like little little bits at a time and you feel like those little bits that you see coming off the rock don't matter so you skip a day ugh, you miss one and eventually you're like why like what are these little bits doing and eventually the rock cracks in half and that was the goal right like you chip away at this rock trying to break it in half i feel like i'm losing you <laughs> but basically like picture a boulder chipping away at it day after day trying to like crack it in half that's the goal and you're not really seeing a difference every single day but one day it could be a month two months three months that boulder is finally going to break and that's not because the boulder just decided up oh, today is the day we're going to get results it was a buildup of all of those little choppings that got the result. I hope you guys are staying with me. Now imagine like chipping at a boulder every single day for months and you're like, I'm not seeing a lot of results. I'm, I'm not seeing a lot of work. It's not a lot of improvement. There's only a little dent here. And right before it's about to break, you give up. Don't let that be you. Because I've absolutely done that. And I've gotten to a point where I'm like, where I was like, ah, oh, I don't see where this is going. I don't think this is benefiting me. And then instead of continuing to take that 1% and get 1% better, I start to regress. If you're not getting like a little bit better and showing up every day, not showing up, you're basically getting 1% worse. Maybe a little bit less, but getting 1% better every day is significantly more helpful than getting 1% worse every day. I hit the nail on the head because like a couple of years ago after the pandemic, I just like really fell off of my eating. And of course, like I gave myself grace because I was dealing with a lot mentally, but I fell off of my eating so bad and my workout schedule and granted again gyms were closed like we were all doing our best and i remember being so lost and progressively getting worse every single day and just compounding my poor choices instead of making small choices okay i don't know <laughs> i probably lost you guys hopefully those analogies made sense honestly i did my best oh, like right here the first mistake is never the one that ruins you. It's the spiral of repeated mistakes that follow. I don't know. This book just made me feel so seen. All right here. This is why the bad workouts are often the most important ones. Sluggish days and bad workouts maintain the compound gains you accrued from previous days. So some days where you feel like you're just showing up and going through the motions, you're maintaining what you have been building so just keep showing up for yourself even if it's like a tiny little something that you do in the gym keep showing up because you're maintaining the work that you've done over the course of several months or years instead of not showing up and then you're starting to regress girl y'all y'all hear do y'all hear me preaching do y'all hear me preaching Anyways, I feel like this book altered my brain chemistry and I'm feeling so motivated and so good. So I'm working on my vlogs and doing different lengths. So some vlogs are going to be long, some are going to be medium, some are going to be short. So this is kind of, I don't, I don't know how long this vlog is, but it's only one day. So this might be one of my shorter vlogs, but y'all, 
I think we did a lot today and I'm heading to bed. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. If you haven't already, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and TikTok and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.